Solar is an unbelievable resource. The amount of sunlight that hits the Earth in one hour equals the entire human use of energy for a year. So it's an unparalleled resource that we need to take better advantage of. And one of the keys is to use the part of the solar spectrum that does photovoltaic conversion well for photovoltaics and to use the rest of the spectrum for the heating process. When we were developing the FOCUS program, we thought very long and hard about how to bring the photovoltaic and the CSP communities together because it's clear that this hybridization is the key to making these, these devices work and be effective. This project brings together two rather disparate communities, and that is the CSP and the PV communities. We're developing a concentrated solar thermal PV hybrid technology, which we call a PV mirror. It looks like a mirror, but it has PV cells in it. So in a conventional CSP technology, you would have a curved, typically parabolic trough mirror reflector that is reflecting and concentrating sunlight to a point or a line where that sunlight is absorbed and it generates lots of heat. We do that as well, but first we steal some of the sunlight. We steal particular wavelengths of the sunlight that uh, photovoltaic cells can use efficiently, and we convert those directly into electricity. We're measuring the input, how much sunlight is incident on the PV mirror, and then the two outputs, how much electricity is generated by it directly, and how much heat. And I knew that in order to propose a solution to this uh, unique problem of PV and CSP combined, I knew that I would need uh, optics. That's when I picked up the phone and called Roger. Most of my career was in astronomy, and a lot of that was in uh, making the mirrors and the optics to do more advanced astronomy. I then began to think that if you put the same kind of technology into ground-based solar generation, you could probably get where you wanted to be for less money. What I've learned about optics and mirrors that we can hope to use with Sunshine comes from my work here at the Mirror Lab at the University of Arizona. The part that, that we've done is uh, shaping the glass to make a reflector and making a shape that we can put the silicon uh, panels behind, the flexibility to try different shapes, and probably in the end to make the shape more accurate and that will allow for more sharp focusing of the, of the light and to more efficient conversion of the thermal part. What's tantalizing is that, particularly with the evolution of PV panels, we are now getting, you know, within a factor of two or something of getting the price low enough. What we're looking at is different technologies that by combining the best of silicon and the best of other technologies, may let us get that final factor of two. What uh, ARPA-E can do is seed that as much as possible to the point where hopefully uh, investors can see the potential and then take the gamble right to put more funding in it. There may be billion dollar power plants with a million square meters of PV mirror one day not too far in the future and that would be incredibly rewarding. It gives us the opportunity to really more fully tap that renewable resource to minimize our carbon footprint and to more effectively use clean, renewable solar energy.